Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to focus on how to find the inverse of a function. For example, number 1, f of x equals 2x plus 5. So what are we going to do in order for you to find the inverse of this function? So the first step that we're going to do is to change f of x in terms of y. So we have y equals 2x plus 5. After this step, we are going to switch x and y. We have x equals 2y plus 5. Next, we are going to isolate the whole equation in terms of y. So we have here x. I'm going to move 5 to the side of x. That's why we have negative 5 equals 2y. And then to isolate y, divide the whole equation by 2 y is x minus 5 over 2. So to write our answer, the inverse of function is x minus 5 over 2. So this will be the inverse. What about the number 2? f of x equals 2x minus 1 all over 5. First step, we're going to change f of x into y. We have y equals 2x minus 1 over 5. Next, we are going to switch x and y variable. We have x equals 2y minus 1 over 5. And then, to eliminate the denominator, I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 5. 5 multiplied by x is 5x. Then we're going to cancel denominator 5 and 5. We have 2y minus 1. And then we are going to express this equation in terms of y. So I'm going to move negative 1 to the side of 5x. We have 5x plus 1 equals 2y. To isolate the, var the variable y, divide the whole equation by 2. So we have y equals 5x plus 1 over 2. So to write our answer, we have inverse of the function is 5x plus 1 over 2. So this will be our final answer. What about the number 3? Go ahead and find the inverse of this function. So the first step, change f of x in terms of y. We have y equals x cubed plus 1. And then switch x and y, that is x equals y cubed plus 1. And then move positive 1 to the side of x. It became x minus 1 equals y cubed. To eliminate the exponent, you simply square or cube both sides of the equation. So we cancel this into this one. We have y equals cube root of x minus 1. So our answer is inverse of function is cube root of x minus 1. So this will be our final answer. On number 4, f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 3. How do we find the inverse of this function? So first, we have f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 3. So we need to change f of x in terms of y. So that is y equals x squared plus 6x plus 3. Then, switch x and y variable. So we have x equals y squared plus 6y plus 3. And then, move 3 to the side of x. It became negative 3. So x minus 3 equals y squared plus 6y. To isolate the equation or to isolate the variable y, we are going to perform a completing the square. 
In order for us to do that, we are going to add a number on both sides of the equation. So that is x minus 3 plus blank equals y square plus 6y plus blank. Now, what must be the number that must be add on this expression to make this equation a perfect square trinomial? So we're going to add 6 divided by 2, that is 3. 3 square, that is 9. So we're going to add 9 to make this expression as a perfect square trinomial. So if you add 9 on the left side, we're going to add on 9 on the other side. And then simplify. x mi minus 3 plus 9. So that is x negative 3 plus 9, that is positive 6. Equals. And then we're going to factor this expression. Square root of y square, that is y. And then sine of the middle term is positive. Square root of 9, that is 3. Then square. Then, we're going to eliminate the exponent by squaring both sides of the equation. So we have square root of x plus 6 equals, we're going to cancel the radical sign of the exponent. We have y plus 3. And then, to isolate the variable y, move positive 3 to the side of square root of x plus 6. We have square root of x plus 6 minus 3 equals y. So our final answer is the inverse of a function is square root of x plus 6 minus 3. So this will be our final answer. What about the number 5? Number 5, we have f of x equals square root of x squared plus 4x minus 6. So, we need to change f of x into y. That is y equals square root of x squared plus 4y or 4x rather minus 6. And then, switch x and y in variable to find the inverse of the function. That is x equals square root of y square plus 4y minus 6. To express this equation in terms of y, we need to eliminate the radical sign. So in order for us to do that, we are going to square both sides of the equation. Then, x square. Cancel the radical sign at exponent 2. We have y square plus 4y minus 6. And then, move negative 6 to the side of x square. That is x square plus 6 from negative it became positive equals y square plus 4y. Then just like in number 4, we're going to perform a completing the square to express y or to express the equ this equation in terms of y. So we must add a number on both sides of the equation. x square plus 6 plus blank equals y square plus 4y plus blank. Now, what must be add on both sides of the equation to make equation to make this expression a perfect square trinomial? So we're going to divide 4 by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then square the result. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we add 4. Then simplify. x squared, 6 plus 4, that is 10, equals square root of y squared is y. Sine of the middle term is positive. Square root of 4 is 2. So we have y plus 2 squared. To express this, this equation in terms of y, we're going to cancel the exponent 2 by squaring both sides of the equation. So we have square root of x squared plus 10 equals, cancel the radical sign and the exponent, y plus 2. Then move positive to the side of square root of x squared plus 10. Then x squared plus 10 minus 2 equals y. Our final answer is y or inverse of function is 
square root of x square plus 10 minus 2. So this will be our final answer. What about number 6? f of x equals square root of x plus 2 minus 5. Go ahead and find the inverse of this function. So the first step is we're going to change f of x in terms of y. So that is y equals square root of x plus 2 minus 5. Then we have to switch x and y variable to find the inverse. That is x equals square root of y plus 2 minus 5. Then move negative 5 to the side of x. That is x plus 5 equals square root of y plus 2. And then, to express this equation in terms of y, we need to cancel the radical sign. So we have to square both sides of the equation. And then, we have quantity of x plus 5 square equals, cancel the radical sign and the exponent, we have y plus 2. And then, move 2 to the side of x plus 5 square. That is y equals x plus 5 square minus 2. So we need to simplify x plus 5 square. How do we do that? We have y equals square the first term. That is x. x multiplied by itself. That is x square. Then, multiply the first and second term by the constant 2 x times 5 is 5x times 2 is 10x then square the last term that is 25 minus 2 so we have y equals x square plus 10x 25 minus 2 is 23 therefore the inverse of the function is x square plus 10x plus 23 so this will be our final answer. What about the number 7? What is the inverse of this function? So change f of x in terms of y. We have y equals 3x minus 7 over 4x plus 3. And then switch x and y variable. That is x equals 3y minus 7 over 4y plus 3. Since we do not have a denominator on x, let us write negative 1 on the denominator. And then we cross multiply. So that is x multiplied by 4y plus 3. And then 1 multiplied to this expression is 3y minus 7. Then, we are going to use distributive property. x multiplied by 4y, that is 4xy. x multiplied by 3, that is 3x, equals 3y minus 7. Now, our goal is to isolate the equation in terms of y. So, I'm going to move 3y to the side of 4xy plus 3. And then move 3x to the side of negative 7. So that is 4xy minus 3y equals negative 3x minus 7. So since the greatest common factor of 4xy minus 3y is y, then we're going to have y. 4xy divided by y is 4x. Negative 3y divided by y is negative, negative 3 equals negative 3x minus 7. Then, divide the whole equation by 4x minus 3 to isolate variable y. Once on this one, y is negative 3x minus 7 over 4x minus 3. So, our final answer is the inverse 
of the function is negative 3x minus 7 over 4x minus 3. So this will be our final answer.